Chasing a dream is always difficult, but how do you know when to give up or when to keep going? So what do you think it is that's preventing you from becoming a copywriter? Hint, and you might not like to hear it, but it's probably you. In this video, we're going to look at what's holding you back and the steps that you can take to get you back on track. One of the first hurdles that people face is actually starting off on this new journey, but actually having no idea how long it takes to become a copywriter. And I know what it's like when you're doing something new, you charge off full of enthusiasm, want to change the whole world, and then you realize, oh, I'm not too sure what I'm doing. But if you do know how long it takes, then you can pace yourself. You're in for the long haul. If I rack my brains and think back to when I started, it took me about a year to get a job as a copywriter. And I was lucky. I lived in a house in London with a bunch of art directors and I got personal tuition nearly every day for six months. I'd left college with a degree in economics, didn't know what I wanted to do. They asked me, can you draw Steve? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I drew my picture. They took one look and said, you should become a writer. They helped me put a portfolio together. I worked on this every single night. That's it. I thought I've done it. But again, that was just the start. My first portfolio of scamp work was, it was okay. It wasn't going to get me a job, but I kind of showed I knew what I was doing. It took me another six months to get it to a state where I got job offers. If you do a postgraduate course at college on creative advertising, it will take about a year. That is a year of lectures and assignments to build up your portfolio. It takes time to get good. So as they say, slow and steady improvement wins the race. Now, secondly, don't beat yourself up. Just starting is a huge step in the right direction. This is the first goal right there. Many people don't start for fear of failure. And there is always fear with anything new. So don't judge yourself harshly before you've even started. Comparison is the thief of joy. I love that expression. YouTube is full of experts who make copywriting sound easy, who brag about how much they're earning, how easy it is to pick up jobs. Now, it might be true for them because they've worked at it for a long time, but it is pointless for you to compare your talent to theirs. Once you know what you're doing, copywriting does become easier. At the end of the day, copywriting is not really complicated. You always keep in mind you're solving a problem, you're communicating a benefit and then you're instigating an action and that's basically it it is getting from point a to point b to point c the more you know the easier it gets what you need to do is use yourself as a yardstick compare what you could do before and what you can do now it might just be a small progression but celebrate that feel better about every little thing you're doing rather than feeling worse about the things that you're not the best advice you can get is to make small steps. Give yourself a goal you can see and then celebrate when you get there and move on. Then simply rinse and repeat. Keep a goal and a destination in mind with everything that you're doing. Now, one of the first steps on that journey is putting together a portfolio. So you might be interested in this video. Enjoy. Good. That's a wrap. How is that? Did my hair look okay? I sound like a dick, didn't I?